Welcome back to the morning blend. Get this experts say by the end of this century, more than 200 million babies in the world will be conceived using IVF. So what are the treatment options if you're trying to get pregnant and what are the new advancements? Dr. Ellen Hayes is an infertility specialist with Vios Fertility Institute. Hi, Dr. Hayes. Hi, Molly. How are you? I'm doing OK. Thanks for joining us this morning um, and, and having you join us this way uh, reminds me that Vios has always had a modern workforce and uh, business uh, plan because you're often mm -hmm. communicating with other clinics and patients this way, right? Yeah, we're actually a fertility network of offices. And so we've been set up from the beginning to be capable of doing telemedicine. So the transition during COVID-19 was actually pretty easy for us. We read such an interesting statistic about the hundreds of millions of people in the world who will be born via IVF. Is this a surprising <laughs> statistic to you? No, I don't think so. I think, you know, it sounds staggering, right? Because I think that we don't even realize how many people suffer from infertility. It's one in eight couples. Um, so there are a lot of patients that need fertility treatment and may just not feel comfortable talking about it. But that's what National Infertility Awareness Week is all about. We want this to be out in the open. What are some of the options currently available? Can you give us sort of a brief overview? Sure, sure. Um, we can do anything from, you know, sometimes minor surgery is needed to fertility medications, which are sometimes oral, sometimes injectable. Um, we can do intrauterine insemination. We can do in vitro fertilization. And now we actually have a new um, capability, a new treatment option to offer people in the state of Wisconsin as well. I want to talk about that in just a second, because that's very exciting for people who are trying to conceive. But first, would you can you address the idea of who is a good candidate? Are there certain parameters for this new treatment option? I would say for any treatment option, is there a certain age, for example, or do you do you ask or request that people try for a certain amount of time before they go to more advanced options? You know, it really is very individualized. And my suggestion, if you're having trouble achieving pregnancy, is to be seen early. You know, the general guideline is if you're less than 35 and you've been trying for a year or more to come in to be seen or 35 and older after six months. Um, I would say that, you know, those are just guidelines. Sometimes we see patients well before that, particularly if they have issues that are already known. Um, that may be an obstacle that we can help with. All right, let's talk about this treatment that's now available to us here in Wisconsin. So Vios Fertility Institute is the first and only clinic offering InvoCell. InvoCell is an option that sort of falls between intrauterine insemination and traditional IVF or in vitro fertilization because it is a device, which I have a little demo right here that I'll show, um, that allows the woman to serve as her own incubator for her embryos. So we can actually, and I'll take this apart, we have this device that's actually two components. It's an outer chamber that houses the inner chamber. This is where we can place eggs and sperm and then place the device intervaginally. And over the course of five days, the eggs and sperm will form embryos that we can then use for treatment. Now, from what I understand, this is very exciting. The FDA has approved it. It's less invasive, more cost effective, and it has a good success rate. Are all of those things true? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so it has a much higher success rate than intrauterine insemination. And in some patients, it may be a better alternative um, to IVF. And it, the important thing is to come in and be seen and have an evaluation and see if you're a good candidate. But I think that some of the positives are we can use less fertility medication. We can minimally stimulate the ovaries, which is you know beneficial in some cases. There's less cost and people don't have to travel as often for fertility monitoring visits while they're doing this treatment. So we can really treat patients kind of all over the state with this. It's very exciting to look at this graphic that, that illustrates the success rate. Mm -hmm. And those are based on national averages. And so it's quite possible that based on an individual situation, the success rate could be even much better than that.
That's wonderful because IVF looks like the one that has the highest success rate, but obviously that's a lot more involved than this new procedure that you're talking about. Correct, correct. So I think it's going to be a nice alternative for many couples that wasn't available before. That is wonderful. I'm going to share details now. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is really exciting. We're very excited, so please feel free to contact us for more information at Vios Fertility. Thanks again, Dr. Hayes. Here's the information if you have any questions for Dr. Ellen Hayes or the Vios Fertility Institute. Call them at 262-518-7448 or visit them online at viosfertility.com.